Hey guys, FJC here back with another Battle Bit video. Today I wanted to go over the vector change from the most recent update, and I wanted to get your guys' opinion on what you think of the current weapon balancing in the game and the vector change. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. If you're unfamiliar exactly what changes were made to the vector, I'm going to put them on screen right now. So just to sum it up very quickly, the vector's damage was adjusted from 24 to 22, the damage drop-off will start at 10 meters rather than 50 meters, and the standard and quick mag now holds 36 bullets instead of 40 bullets. So now that the update's been out for a couple of days, I thought it'd be a good time to give you my opinion and whether or not I think the change was worthy. I'm going to start by talking about the damage adjustment from 24 to 22. I think this change was needed and I'm very happy that they didn't put it lower than 22 damage. The Vector now has the lowest damage in the SMG category and its high velocity, in my opinion, balances the damage out. I've even had discussions with some of my buddies while playing Battlebin and some of them have said that the damage should have been a little lower maybe around 20 or 21. Me personally I think the 22 damage is the sweet spot. 21 damage wouldn't have been bad either but I like the fact that they didn't completely tank the weapon. In a lot of other AAA titles when a weapon is massively meta majority of the time it seems like the developer's easiest move is to just completely tank the weapon so that it's not usable anymore. So on a small little side note I'm very happy that they're going about balancing a weapon in the correct way in terms of making the weapon less meta and open P, but still making it a viable option in game. Next we're going to talk about the damage drop off and this is where you'll notice the biggest differences with the vector. Previously the weapon's damage started to fall off at 50 meters. The damage for the vector now falls off at 10 meters which is a huge change. When the update went live and I started using the vector I immediately noticed a change in the engagements that I was taking. The weapon up close is still a deadly machine but after around 30 meters the weapon becomes a pea shooter. Not to say that you can't use the vector at all at range but it does require a decent amount of recoil control and majority of the time you end up using an entire mag to kill one enemy. And like I said earlier, this is definitely where I noticed the biggest change. Prior to the update, I was outgunning people at AR range. Now I can definitely say that there are times where you can do it as long as you get the first shot off, but majority of the time an assault rifle is going to outgun you now. And the last change that was made to the vector was probably the most minimal one out of all of them and that was a reduction in ammo size from 40 to 36 on the regular and quick mag. And when I say minimal, I mean in terms of the previous two updates we talked about. In my opinion, the ammo reduction lands on the bottom of the list in terms of importance. But in game, you definitely do feel a difference when using the gun. Especially when I was first getting used to the vector, there were a couple engagements towards the end of the magazine where I thought I had enough ammo, but I would end up shooting one to two bullets and then running out of ammo completely. If you guys are using the drum mag on the vector, you won't run into this problem as the ammo wasn't reduced at all. I I personally just got used to the four bullet change and I'm still using the exact same setup that I would use prior to the weapon being updated. So to end this all off, do I think that the Vector is still a meta weapon? Definitely not a meta weapon, but do I think it's still one of the best guns to use in the game? Most definitely. I know I've heard a ton of people argue about the fact that the Vector is still broken, but honestly these changes make it more comparable to the Scorpion Evo, which has the fastest TTK in the game, but people tend to skip out on because of its crazy recoil. Prior to the 2.0 update, this weapon was most definitely broken, but now I even find myself running out of ammo and unloading a whole mag onto a player that has armor and not even killing them. So I'm very happy that they didn't completely ruin the weapon and that it's still in talks to be one of the best guns in the game. Obviously, they're not going to please everybody, but I'm sure that majority of the community is very happy with this change. One last thing I'd like to mention before this video ends completely aside from the vector and its changes. My buddy and I, Jabba, have officially started our clan for battle bit kintsugi you may have seen us in game with the tag cracked but we are now officially recruiting and if you guys would like to join our clan i'm gonna post the clan discord in the pin message everyone is welcome to join the discord and will be able to join the clan but specifically we are looking for puggers and screamers to yep. play competitively with there are a couple of prerequisites that we ask of you when applying to be a competitive player with us all we ask is that you create a one to three minute video just showing off your clips and post a screenshot of your stats and the ones we will specifically specifically be looking at are your score per minute and your kill per minute. We ask for both stats and gameplay so that we can get a proper idea of how you are as a player, but I do understand that stats aren't always accurate to how you play in game, so that's why we ask for the gameplay as well. So that's everything from me for today, guys. Definitely let me know what you think of the vector change and whether or not you still think the gun is a metal weapon or broken. Thank you guys for all the support. Again, I know I practically say that every video, but it's truly how I feel. And if you guys aren't yet, please follow my Twitch. 
twitch.tv slash it's fjc i'm live there from monday to friday 10 30 eastern to around three o'clock eastern for sure and then monday to wednesday i do evening streams roughly around six eastern to eight or 8 30 eastern whenever i feel like hopping off thank you guys so much again and i'll see you in the next one peace out